Hey there, gang. Guess what day it is? It's Wednesday. I love Wednesdays. I know some people call it hump day, but I call it payday. <laughs> but anyways, I would like to say a huge, huge thank you to, I mean, oh my gosh, I got so many messages, so many text messages, so many, um, so many messages on Facebook, so many, I just, I am so, so blessed. It was unbelievable how many messages I got. And I tried to respond to everybody, but if I missed you, I do apologize. And I really appreciate it. And I got a surprise bouquet of flowers that actually I took a picture of them this morning and I'll probably post that but um they are in full bloom right now and normally I'm not a rose person only because roses don't last very long but these are the most beautiful white ro roses with with lavender snapdragons in the background and oh my gosh it is just amazing and it brought such a smile to my face I have had a very very stressful week and you know we, we can turn everything around in life and we can turn it into you know an excuse or we can turn it into a reason really is what it is and um even though my birthday was not quite the way uh birthdays usually are i didn't get to spend it the way i did but i got to celebrate uh last night which was fine with my family and i got some amazing gifts it was just i am so so blessed it's like my heart is like overflowing with gratefulness and i did the first as some of you know i did the first step in uh, becoming a big, and I'm now on to the second step. It's just so exciting. And I still haven't told anybody but you. <laughs> Anyways, so, but that's what I was, you know, I've had several, several things have happened this week that, you know, are not necessarily um, looked at as good things. Yeah, you know, like one of them, are, my boiler quit. Uh, yeah, that's not a good thing. The roof needs fixing. You know, we, we all have um, things and we can turn them into, like I said, excuses or reasons. Now, I could certainly use what's gone on this week um, as an excuse to say, well, pfft, screw it. I'm not going to eat healthy. Screw it. I'm not going to get any exercise. Screw it. I'm not going to work my business. You know, that type of thing. Or I could turn it all the way around and turn it into a reason to do those things. See? So, you know, I know a lot of people will, lately I've gotten a lot of comments like, are you really this positive? Are you really this? Of course not. I have to work at it. I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like everybody else. And I could easily sway myself to those. And those thoughts come into my head, but I consciously say, not gonna, nope, 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 time out. Not going there. How can we use this to my advantage? So instead, I had to, um, I had, I, on my birthday, I spent it in the emergency room with someone, and instead, I turned that into an opportunity, instead of having it a negative, I turned that opportunity to share my business with a few people, the person that actually walked me in. <laughs> and, you know, it's just, you can turn anything around. So you can use it as a woe is me, you can say, is your glass half full, or is your glass half empty, or... Did you just drink it all and solve the problem? You know, that's the way it is. So before you jump to conclusions on something or before you, you know, as you, you're letting those negative thoughts come into your mind, think, how can I change that? How can I look at it differently? Because that's all it is. It's perception. It's how you perceive it. And whether you let your mind go to the negative side or you, you let your mind go to the positive side. So work on the positives. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Leslie. That was just, oh my goodness. Every time I look at it now, that brings a smile to my face. So sometimes it's just little gestures like that that can change your outlook on things too. So when I get home at 3 o'clock in the morning after, you know, after my, on the day of my birthday, I got home at 3 o'clock, no sleep. I came home and got to see those flowers. And it just brought a huge smile to my face. So think about that. Have a wonderful, loving, sharing, caring day. Bye.